guys, I'm Bailey. Welcome to my March book wrap up. The first book I read is Blueprint by Charlotte Kerner. This book is about a woman named Iris who is a pianist and diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. So she decides to clone herself and it's essentially like a biography written in the point of view of her daughter who she names Suri. Um, I thought this book was very interesting. I rated it a four because, out of five, because it was very interesting. It was, there was a lot of science and the implications of human cloning and how that'll mentally affect the clones themselves and how their lives could be and how it could be detrimental to their lives if the clone is for selfish purposes. I didn't read it a full five because I felt like the translation itself might have been a touch rocky. It was originally written in German. And I just, it just seemed a little choppy. I know it is supposed to be like a biography style, but I just wish it had a little bit more flow of story. The next book I wrote, read is The Jungle by Clive Cussler. I actually listened to that one. I read it at a five. It's the first Clive Cussler book I've ever read, and I just thought it was phenomenal. I loved the main characters. I loved the story. I love how all the points tie into each other and things that you didn't expect to have any relevance do, and it just, it was mind-blowingly amazing, and I, and I got a ton more of his books to read. Um, the third book I read in March was The Terminal Man by Michael Crichton. It's about a man named Harry Benson. He has seizures that are very violent. He's actually escorted to the hospital by police to get a special procedure. And what they do is they implant like a little computer into his brain to give him the right uh, pulses to stop the seizures. But he learns how to get them increasingly. And then it has a, a very bad twist at the end. But I was hoping that the homicidal twist, it does say that in the synopsis, so I'm not giving anything away, I promise. I was hoping that that would be more part of the story, like a medical uh, murder, mystery, thriller, all tied in together. But most of the book was um, Dr. Ross saying that she did not think it would be a good idea for him to go through this procedure, and all the other doctors continued with that. I did give it a three because the murder wasn't as much of a mystery as I thought it was going to be. It was more, it was just a lot of Janet Ross saying that she didn't agree with this and then how it all played out, which is great. And I love medicine and learning about all of that and reading about it in books, but it's not what I was expecting. So I did only rate it three. The last book that I finished this month is another Michael Crichton. It's called A Case of Need. He actually wrote it while he was in med school under a different name, Jeffrey Hudson. To help pay for med school, he wrote thrillers in like a week. So, um, this one uh, talks a lot about a controversial topic in medicine. It's, um, it's definitely a dated novel because the topic within this book is more, a little bit more, like, a lot, like, not as taboo, I guess. I don't really know. But, um, it's, the, there's a lot of, the whole book itself is actually, like, mystery, and a pathologist whose friend and another doctor is put in jail for the, uh, controversial happenings in this book. I don't want to, I don't want to bring it up or, or talk about it or anything, but, uh, it was a very interesting book. It had a lot of different viewpoints on the topic, and there, there was, everything I expected from reading the synopsis, so that's why I gave it an extra half. I did rate it three and a half, though, because it just, I don't know, it just didn't, it just felt more like I was, I didn't want to put it down because it was interesting, but I also, like, didn't feel a drive to read it. I just wanted to finish it, kind of like a, like when you watch a whole bunch of episodes of, like, CSI or Criminal Minds, like, this, this some of the plots feel similar, but it's just, you got to know the ending, so that's why it only got three and a half. So that's all my books I've finished in March. I did start this one, but I haven't finished yet. It's called um, Last Seen Alive, and it's by Claire Douglas. So far, I'm really liking it. 
It's very interesting. It's separated into three parts, and the first part talks about a trip that her and her, the main character and her husband take to a, uh, like a, a home swap, and they go to, like, this mansion, and then there's, a a mystery that goes on there, and then I've, I'm assuming it continues throughout the book, and we find out what happened there, and more things unravel. It's really interesting, the way that it's written, because you gotta read to know more. Like, you find out little facts just as the character's thinking about them, you're not, like, outright told or anything, and I really like how it's written that way. It makes me keep, it makes me want to keep reading. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, my first book wrap-up video. I, I have a lot of fun reviewing books, so I figured I'd make an actual video just, like, to wrap up what I'm doing, and maybe start the, doing this every month, since I'm trying to read more. It'll probably influence my reading habits, so I have more to share with you guys at the end of the video. But, um, thank you so much. Please subscribe down below, turn on the bell so you know when I finally post. At this point, I have book reviews, wrap-ups that I'm going to post at the end of every month, and I want to start doing more craft videos and other stuff like that, and I'd really appreciate your support. After this, I'll have links to my Instagram and Twitter, so you can go follow me there, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye!